Welcome people. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to highlight something that I saw in the paper. Right? You might wonder how does it affect you? Based on my opinion, it's gonna affect you two ways. Um you're going to clarify some doubts that you have in, in your head about the the poison that they have been forcing people to take over the past two years and also it's going to give you an idea of how the world can be better so stay tuned let me read an headline the headline states bill gates poured millions into attacking elon musk tesla ceo tweets wait until you find out what you put in your vaccine let me read again bill gates poured millions into attacking elon musk Tesla CEO tweets, wait until you find out what he puts in your vaccine. Alright, so everybody might know of Bill Gates, right? He's the man that has been creating vaccine or paying money to create vaccine. And he's the man who's pushing vaccine on the world. He's not a medical doctor, but he's the man that is pushing vaccine on everyone. He believes that everyone should be vaccinated and the whole world is agreeing with him because he has his money. Alright. Elon Musk now is, a, is the CEO for this electrical car company named Tesla. So both of them are billionaires. Okay. Both of them are billionaires. I could, I could stop and elaborate on this part right here. That... that Elon Musk tweeted he said wait until you find out what he put in your vaccine that is what Elon Musk is saying to Bill Gates so both of them at war basically you know not no physical war like poor people poor people alone in a physical war I want to kill them either them man yeah, them not going to do nothing physical unless them probably pay other people to do whatever to 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 but them not do nothing physical them wise they not get them on dirty, but no, it's going to be a physical war because a billionaire, a billionaire, they know, they know better. But anyways, this is what I want to stress on this point. He said, wait until you find out what he puts in your vaccine. That is what Elon Musk is saying to someone on Twitter. Okay, all right. So you might be saying, what kind of clarity that gives to, 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 to the people? I'll give you a scenario now. If I have a restaurant, right? And I, and I give people food. The restaurant is, for, is yeah, yeah, give people food. And you heard me and my friend curse him. Say, it was my friend, but yeah, for whatever reason, he don't like me again. And I said something bad to him. And then he's going to say, while you're in the restaurant eating, now, if he said to me, wait until me tell the people um, where you put on them food. I know you're going to probably stop eating and, 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 and start to think. You're not going to think that it's anything positive. You're not going to think that it's, it's anything good. Because if two of us are vexed, two of us quarreling, it couldn't be something good he's going to say to me to big me up. We are, we are at war basically. So if he said to, to, to me and you, you heard it that, hey, wait until I tell them what you put in their food automatically it's going to come to your head that it must be something bad so it's the same thing here that i want you to real to understand that a lot of people they are not sure of what is what because they hear the mainstream media say this and then they hear people who want to help them saying that so this is supposed to clarify to you what the doubt that you have because not everything will be straightforward you need to understand that you have to use the knowledge that you have and put them together Read between the lines, connect the dots. Not everything will be straightforward. So you might not hear you say that. Wait till I'm, wait till wait till um, the people then find out the poison, this and that you put in your vaccine. You might not. It might not, it might not be that that clear, but you have to understand the thing. So it cannot be anything positive because both of them are at it right now. So that is one clarity. That is the clarity that you should get from from this okay so i'm just gonna read the, the article okay tesla ceo elon musk 
On Wednesday, slammed the billionaire philanthropist Bill Gates after a report claimed that the Microsoft co-founder poured millions into attacking Musk 44 billion acquisition of Twitter. So what is happening there? Elon Musk is going to buy Twitter. Twitter. Twitter is a platform like Facebook and these things. One of those social media platforms such as Twitter. So there is an article that goes like this. On April 14, 2022, business magnate Elon Musk offered to purchase American social media company Twitter Inc. for $43 billion after previously acquiring 9.1% of the company's stock for $2.64 billion, becoming its largest shareholder. So, Elon Musk of the largest shareholder in a, in, is the largest shareholder of Twitter, so basically he, he wants to buy it. So, Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter. You understand? That's the thing. So, what the war is about now, let us read further to show you. So, far right publication Breitbart News claimed that hundreds of millions of dollars flew from Gates Foundation to 11 of the 26 organizations that signed an open letter last month urging Twitter advertisers to boycott the company of Elon Musk. If Elon Musk restores free speech on the platform, I'll read it again. So, far right publication Breitbart News claimed that hundreds of millions of dollars flew from Gates Foundation to 11 of the 26 organizations that signed an open letter last month urging Twitter advertisers to boycott the company if Elon Musk restores free speech on the platform. So what they are saying right here now that a news company is claiming that a couple millions of dollars sent from Gates Foundation to so there, there are 26 organizations organization, so 11 out of the organization get money 11 out of the 26 organizations they get money from Gates to sign a letter so basically it's a voting thing so Bill Gates appear people basically if you vote one way you know, the man with the money control the world. That's what they use their money for. To, to, to control people, to encourage people and all these things. So he's paying people to, to, to boycott Elon Musk. Because what? Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter will, will cause people to have free speech. I don't know if you realize that within the past two years, from 2020 to 2022, it's like you cannot say whatever you want to say. It's not nothing but you want to say, no, but once it is different from the narrative, once it is different from the mainstream media, they make it a problem. Once it is the other side of the story, they don't want you to say the other side of the story. So YouTube is one of those companies that is controlled. You cannot say certain things on YouTube. Once you go against what the mainstream media is saying, or once you go against what the government is saying, doesn't matter if it is wrong or right, Twitter, I mean YouTube, will block you. So now, that's what they have. That's what they have been doing for the past two years. They have, they have controlled information that goes out there, and that's one way of brainwashing you and causes you to think one way. They say it's a free country and democratic. Democracy. You have to let people hear both sides. You have to let people hear both sides. So why don't they want people to hear both sides? Something must be. Must be something why they don't want people to hear both sides. So you realize what they're trying to say right here now is that people should boycott me. And do not sign for him to get it. If he's going to to allow free speech. Okay now, so the article further goes on to say, Citing research and analysis from the Foundation for Freedom Online, FFO, the report analyzed public fittings to trace hundreds of millions of dollars in contributions from the letter signatories back to Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So Bill and, Me Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yeah, they might trace millions of dollars say, yo, that Bill Gates send money to your people and we are going to sign. Because he want them to sign. That's why the Jamaica 
That's so why rich people can't go to jail in Jamaica. They're bigger than the law. Because once you have your money, you just control people. You pay the police. See, see, him, see him tamper with the evidence. You pay a witness to change your mouth. You pay a judge, you pay a lawyer. Money, the man with the money control the world. You have to understand. You have to understand people. That's, that is what is happening. So you have to know the thing and think for yourself and make logical decisions. Yeah. Do not be bombarded because of what they put out. You have to now because they are in charge doesn't mean that they are putting out conscious things or positive things for you. You have to understand how these people are wicked and the devil is controlling them. That is what is happening. Yeah, don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Listen to both sides. Listen to all the sides before you're quick to go against or before you're quick to accept. So they're saying now that in total, 11 of the 26 anti mosque organizations received funding from a Gates backed entity, the report claimed. Musk, Elon Musk replied, What a d move! A DICK move! What a DICK move! <laughs> when you have money, you know, you're bad, you know. So now Elon Musk said, You think that is bad? Wait until you find out. What he put in your vaccine must reply to a follower. So I explained that earlier saying that this is what you need to understand. The second part of of why you came to, to listen to this video. Elon Musk is a billionaire. Bill Gates is a billionaire. Money people, billionaire. Elon Musk would have known long time about the vaccine, right? He would have known long time what was put in there but there's a saying that goes like this you know, if you control the people when you're in power if you control the people that is in your surrounding the close people that in your surrounding you're going to stay in power because once you make them comfortable and once they are not affected by whatever you are doing you're good nobody will talk against you people will protect you rather than protecting righteousness they will protect you the Bible mentions something like that. Say, um, people rather than doing what is good, they are pleasing their boss or pleasing their whatever. So nobody no business about righteousness anymore. Just if my boss or me love do something wrong, they are going to defend him. But that's how the world has become right now. So so Bill Gates and all the rich people normally, all the rich people and the world leaders, those who are against Bill Gates, you would have heard what happened couple of them got assassinated and sanctioned and all these things. It's just a total domineer, domine domineering thing, huh? Is what I say. If I say people should be vaccinated, people should be vaccinated. You can't tell me about no natural medicine. You can't tell me about nothing else. You can't tell me say your immune system is strong. If I say I am the man with the money. So if I say you must be vaccinated, you must be vaccinated. Totally, totally, totally theory and thing they are dealing with. So, let us not stray from the point. Elon Musk and Bill Gates are friends. As long as Bill Gates didn't have a problem with Elon Musk buying Twitter, you would not have heard this, that's what I'm saying. You would not have heard it. So, because he's affected by whatever now he's talking. This is what I wanted to get from this. In Jamaica, or in the world, where you have prime minister or presidents, where crime is so high, you're having like 10 persons per day dying. And they are turning a blind eye to the crime. They are so neglectful. Nobody cares because crime is something that is good. So why should we even mention anything about it? Why should we do anything about it? Especially anything in ACE. Because it's good. It's, it, it's something good. It must be something good. The, the approach that I see from the world leaders especially towards crime and violence is, it is so, it's so appalling. So appalling, so sick, so I can't find words to describe. You see, people are dying left, right, and center, and they're not even they're not even talking about it. They're not even talking about it. So because Elon Musk is affected by by what Bill Gates is saying, Elon Musk is saying whatever. is is basically a let out Bill Gates secret. So now come back to Jamaica, you know. 
you realize say, the crime and violence is so high. Police are dead, soldiers are dead, teachers are dead, nurses are dead, children are dead, women are dead, dogs are dead, pussy are dead, firemen are dead, everybody else are dead except politicians. You realize? So guess what is happening now? Because they are unaffected by the crime and violence. You realize that they don't need to do anything because their children are okay and they are okay. You see, the moment they are affected by the crime and violence, do you think the negligence approach would still be there? Remember, you know, if Elon Musk wasn't affected by what Bill Gates said, he wouldn't have said anything about the vaccine. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be talking about Bill Gates' secret now. So the same thing with politicians or leaders because they are comfortable. Nothing is affecting them. They are, put, they are bigger than the law. Like they have immunity against the law because they can do whatever. They are not doing anything about the crime and violence because it's not, it's not affecting them. But what if the crime and violence start to affect them or affect their children? Guess what's going to happen? When a man realizes that the, the, the crime and violence is, is, is at their doorstep, it's a different feeling. It's a different feeling, friend. The people that they don't love, because they don't love ghetto people, they don't love poor people. So when a poor man dead, I don't know to them. How much? It's like them I say, one dead, me think of five, just one. That's, that's the approach, that's, that, that's like the, the, the response I get from these people when children are being killed. It's like, just one pity dead, me think of five, they would have killed. I just two women dead, me think of ten. I just five more dead, I think I'm 25. They turn a blind eye to the situation, they don't do anything about it. But if their family, their little son, poop, got shot, and then tomorrow another one gets shot, poop, then they hear say a politician dead to the poop, then one dead tomorrow, poop, then a politician pick the dead again, poop. Guess what's going to happen now? They are going to realize that the thing is affecting them. And then now you're going to hear people start to talk. People secret who are bringing guns and who are this and who are that. That's how Jamaica can get better. Or, you know, I forgot that way still not. If they have a change of art and they start doing it for them as leaders. Yeah? Start encouraging youths them to live good. Start produce jobs and things. And stop involving the corruption. Country must better because once you cut the source, you know, once you cut the source, once you cut the source or the power of anything, it must stop. Must stop. Must stop. So, just continue now. So, as per FFO's analysis, Gates Foundation paid 102 separate cash grants to our true new ventures fund. Totaling 457 million. So the man spent over 457 million. Wonder why. So early he talked about freedom of freedom of speech platform. So it's gonna further explain to you as you go along. So Soros, Clinton, Obama, Staffer, that the people who work with Obama, Clinton and Soros. Soros is a billionaire too. And Clinton and the former mm -hmm. president. Obama is the former president. So they are saying Soros, Clinton, Obama, Staffers shoot off anti Musk letter to boycott Twitter after Musk tweeted about who funds these organizations that want to control your access to information so see Elon Musk attack it things them so he tell the people on Twitter who are fund organizations to control your access to information so if, if they can prevent you from hearing certain things then it's not going to come to your mind they say out of sight out of mind out of ears also out of mind so if you don't see certain things, you're not going to think about it. And if you don't hear certain things, you're not going to think about it. So it's about control of information. All right now. The report surfaced late on Wednesday that the groups behind the anti musk campaign belong to wealthy Democrat donors and their family foundations, labor unions, and the governments of European nations. So you see, all of these people are in league with Bill Gates. Who they are? Wealthy Democrat donors their family foundations, labor unions, and the government of European nations, European nations. So early, year this month, about 26 activist organizations 
and NGOs signed a letter to Twitter adver advertisers asking them to boycott the platform if Musk makes content moderation changes. Mm -hmm. So what is this content moderation change that you're talking about? Content moderation changes is uh, basically they have a system that they set up that they, they, whatever you put up, whether by writing or audio or video, then they have their platform, people watch them and decided hey, this should go up or not. So they basically quarantine whatever you put up first before the public sees it. So they can say, oh, it's talking about this. No, we don't want the public to hear this. So they ban it or take it down. That's what they want. So they want to control whatever is put out there. So they say, it was later revealed that some of these groups are funded or tied to billionaire philanthropist George Soros former US President Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. You see, all of those people in line with Bill Gates. So basically, Bill Gates having money. It's another thing you're supposed to get from this. Him having money and he just control the leaders of all the country. So everybody at work with him. That's something you need to get from that. All right, Elon Musk take over of Twitter. Look what they are saying. Elon Musk take over of Twitter will further toxify our information ecosystem and be a direct threat to public safety. So that is, a, that is what they always do. They are looking out for our safety. I'm going to shed a light on that. They are looking out for our safety. So Elon Musk take over of Twitter will further toxify our information ecosystem and be a direct threat to public safety especially among those already most vulnerable and marginalized the groups wrote to advertisers yeah man they're always looking out for us yeah they are plaguing on our ignorance they are plaguing on our weakness because we have nobody to represent us we have nobody to defend us they know that so they cannot push anything down our throat control our leaders and the leaders control us but the lead, this is not supposed to be like that. Leaders are supposed to protect those who they are leading. Leaders are supposed to give to, to their followers the best things, not the worst. Whatever you are, whatever you are going to give to your children. And I'm sure that if I if you don't know me, or if you have heard of me over the years, giving bad things to people, and I just come to you and give you something to give to your children. If you are a loving mother or father, you're not just going to take it and give it to your children. You're going to find out what it is. And you are going to test it for yourself before you give it to your children. So when you see people just taking in things from people, just following people and just giving people whatever, without first test it, you have, to, you, have to, you have to wonder why. You can't just take things from people and just stuff down people's throat and expect people just supposed to take it. You don't explain to the people why we should take it. You don't explain to the people the, the implication the, the negative or the positive yeah you don't do not you just take this take this this is good this is good even though research even though evidence have been there to show that this thing is not good you're pushing down upon people can't be something must be wrong so obviously the man with the money spending big money and people just are working in base and that is what is happening you understand so so they are saying they are looking for a safety and if, if 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 my boy if Elon must take over Twitter, it have a toxify toxic top top toxicity or something normally bad poison like in your body. So then it's basically like a poison the information ecosystem. I guess you use it, you see the term that they use? Our information ecosystem. That means they control it. Our info. They never say the information ecosystem, they say our. So it's something that they control and they determine what goes out there from what we hear, from what whatever, they are controlled. And I know that YouTube is a control entity. They might take down this video. They might take down this video because YouTube is a part of the control entity. And most of the platforms out there are controlled. If you put up certain things, either, either it, it gets banned or taken down, or you see somebody say that this is incorrect, this is in misinformation and stuff like that. So that is what they want to do. So the article further, reads that under most management twitter risks becoming a cesspool of misinformation see under most management twitter risk becoming a cesspool of misinformation 
with your brand attached, polluting our information ecosystem in a time where trust in institutions and news media is already an all-time low, the group surprise. Yeah, so they realize that people are not trusting news media again. So what they want to do now is to further try their best to ensure that certain information is not is not out into the public. Because, you know, some people, all they need to do to believe is to hear. You Do you know that? You have some people, all they need to do is just to hear you say something and they believe you. Once they believe, once they look up to you, they will believe you. While others now, they hear you, they hear both sides, and then they pick based on the logics. Or they, then they further go and research. Yeah, so they know that some people just want to hear. So that is why they are trying to prevent certain information from being out there in the public. And also what they realize is that they cannot stop all information from going out there. Now. So what they try to do now is to come up with things like call the people conspiracy theorists or misinformers. See, so they try to let you doubt. Let you doubt the the, the information that is coming because they realize that they cannot stop it. So it's out there already, but I still can affect it by telling you that hey, don't believe those people because those people are are conspiracy theorists. Those people are going against what we want to do. But it's whenever you use whenever they use certain terminology, you have to find out the meaning of what that thing is. Don't just quick to believe them. And we, we have heard the thing about conspiracy. Many of us don't know con what con conspiracy means. So let me tell you, conspiracy, I have the meaning right here in front of me. It is a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. Right? This is what conspiracy is. A secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. Now people of Jamaica and people of the world, especially of African descent, because Africa must unite. I want you, based on the information that was said about conspiracy, let me read it again. Conspiracy is a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. Now, you tell me this now. If you, a lot of times you have heard the other side of the story in which people are saying, build your immune system. I want to ask you this question. What is harmful in telling a person to build their immune system? What is harmful in telling people that they need to get sunlight, vitamin C and vitamin C, zinc and zinc, which is the three main components to build one immune system. So if a person is telling you that, hey, build your immune system and build it naturally, you don't need to take any crap that they are forcing on you. What is harmful in that? So you just sit there and you listen to the mainstream media and you hear them telling you that people are conspiracy theorists and you don't find out the meaning for yourself. Can't be conspiracy if somebody is looking out for me. Remember, no, conspiracy means to, to do something harmful or something unlawful. So what is harmful or unlawful and if these people are telling us, listen, the place didn't need to lock down for that because it is a, a simple immune deficiency thing. So build your immune system. Huh? No. People were saying that this thing is not going to work. But they still are forcing people to take this thing. Then after many people have taken it now, then they come out and say, hey, yeah, it's not working. So I want to ask you the question, who do you think? Are the conspiracy theorists, the people who are trying to help you, are your mainstream media and their friends. This is where I'm going to stop. So basically, people, what is happening is that it is information they are fighting against between Elon Musk and Bill Gates. Information. So Bill Gates want to continue to 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 filter out 
information that he thinks you don't need to know. But Lewis, listen, we're talking about democracy. We are a democratic people, that's what they say. So if you're a democratic people, you need to let people hear the other side of the story. You can't force a person to hear one side of the story. And that's what I'm saying to you, to all of you who are listening. Please, if a man comes to you and tell you about and he's telling you about his wife. Listen to what he's saying, but go and listen to the wife's side. If a woman is coming to you and telling you about her husband, listen to what she's saying, but go and hear the husband's side. Do not just listen to one side and make a decision because you see the side that you hear always seem like the correct one. Because by right, people are going to tell you it based on what they see. But based on what they see might not be necessarily the right thing. So it is there what they see. They are not telling you any lie. No. But they are saying to you how they see things. So when you listen to what they say, how they see it, and then you go to the other side and you listen to how they see it, then you can put the two of them together and come up with the formula to solve the situation, basically. Okay, so... Yeah, people, you take this... this so what they have realized also is that... Um, they, 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 they pressure you once and they realize that you give up, you heal to it, so they're going to try again. They're going to try again. So you have to know these things because if I, if, I, if I steal something from you, if you don't know exactly how I steal you, say I, if I trick you, I trick you once and you don't know exactly how I trick you, then I'm going to trick you again and again and again. So that's why you need to know what happened. So that when they come along with something else, you can know what is happening. Okay? So they know that if they control the leaders, then the leaders control the people. You need to understand that leadership is not... Basically, let us not say it's not as though it was before, back then. Because <laughs> leadership has changed. But it, it is the same as it was back then. You need to understand. Because when you read the Bible and you realize after the... the, the the, the people that were ruling the world at the time, the, the Pharaoh, the Nebuchadnezzar, the Herod, and all those kings, those were people who were, the Bible says, who were going against the Creator, right? They were the government. They were the big people, and they were the ones who were going against the leaders. So what they were the ones who were going against the, the Creator's plan, pressuring people from the Bible. And a lot of us have read it, but we don't really understand. That we, we believe that the Bible is just a fairy tale. You know, the Bible is a good book and the right book and the real book. But what they have done is to try to confuse us and understand what confusion is. Confusion is mixing the truth with lie. Confusion is mixing the truth with lie. So that is what they do. They'll give you the right thing, but with it, they take out some things. I also understand that the word of the Creator. It's not only the 66 books that they are giving you. There are many other books out there that speaks other things. So you need to understand that. So that's what they do. They, they take away or they add to the truth to try to convince you. And because a lot of persons don't like to be bothered. That's why a lot of persons don't like much because they just can't be bothered. They think they have the, 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 the working out correct. And then two weeks before exam, they realize that it is wrong. They, all, all hell break loose. They, they, they just want to go crazy because... They thought they had it right. Yeah. So because they know that a lot of people they will be they are easily um, frustrated and give up, they mix it up. So they put the truth with the lie. So they tell you a little truth and they tell you a lie. And then they try to confuse you. Their aim is to get you to give up. That's why a lot of people say, We can't bother, you know. We just have to take it there, man. Because they attack me from work. I made this, I be hungry, I made this, yeah. They must stop you from work, they must stop you from travel, they must this, they must that. You can't bother, so you just give in. That's the here. But stand strong. Africa must unite. Black man, time to fight. Don't let Rome defeat you now. That is the word of life started. Yeah, so it's just a little thing. I hope you guys find it informative and interesting so we don't we don't know how far this thing is going to go with the these two billionaires but what they might also do before i end this video what they might also do is it depends on which side because it is not the government of 
it's not the government no the president or the prime minister that control the world it's some rich people behind them you don't see these people so these rich people don't determine everything basically what you learn in school what you eat and all these things so the people control these governments control the leaders the presidents and all these people the president and the people are puppets yeah they take control from money man that has trillions so bill gates and this man might have billions but the other people that control bill gates and the people have trillions so you see the man with the money so what they might do in the future look 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 for it look towards it is that if they favor bill gates they are going to talk a lot of crap about elon Musk saying that he's crazy and he's this and he's missing from and all these things trying to get into your brain if they favor elon Musk, which i doubt they would favor elon Musk. Then they will say crazy things about Bill Gates, even though I think the latter is not so. Yeah, I think they will favor Bill Gates more than Elon Musk. So, so look out for them to tell you that Elon Musk, um, either he took some medication and his, his brain is not working. So they are trying to discredit what he's saying so that you don't believe it. That's how they work. Anyway, people, bless up. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to me and how good and how pleasant it is for bridging to dwell in love and unity. Africa unite. Black people stop fighting each other. We are not our enemies. So why do we fight each other? Let us live good in love and harmony. Peace.